Bots, brain typing, machine learning, and augmented reality took center stage at this year's F8. The event showcased Facebook's ability to process contextual information and give feedback in both virtual and haptic worlds. Here's a recap of some of the mind-bending news announced at Facebook's annual developer conference. Starting with augmented reality, Facebook debuted a new platform called Creative Effects that layers virtual art and messages with real life. Experiences can be triggered by objects detected in your camera, your exact location, movement, or pulled from data from other apps. It's a bit like Snapchat, but has the potential to be so much more. A sample of effects is now live in Facebook's camera, where you can also make your own 2D filters. Frame Studios, as it's called, lets you upload a design for an overlay graphic with no coding required. Then friends or fans can use these designs to put on their own photos or videos. Today, Facebook's AR future may be taking the form of selfie filters, but in the future, the company wants you to interact with the world using only your brain. There were many details as to what this would really look like, but it does involve a pea-sized array of electrodes implanted inside of your brain. This initially sounds pretty terrifying, but this brain mouse could one day allow you to type up to 100 words a minute. In less invasive brain technology news, Facebook is building a brain-computer interface for typing and hearing via skin. This technology could let deaf people essentially hear by bypassing their ears. Using a system of actuators turned to 16 frequency bands, Facebook demoed a test subject able to comprehend a vocabulary of nine words that she could hear through her skin. Facebook also announced a new technique the company is using to improve the watching experience for 360 videos. By predicting where the viewer will look next, it can render that area of the image first, which is particularly helpful for high-resolution experiences or places with lower quality internet. While we are talking 360, Facebook will license its new 360 cameras that capture in six degrees of freedom. There are two new designs, one with 24 and the other with six cameras. Building on the original Surround 360, both cameras have a simple spherical design and look pretty fantastic. Facebook plans to license the designs for market later this year. Facebook's new spaces, you and up to three friends can hang out in a virtual room where you can chat, draw, watch 360 videos, make messenger and video calls, and take VR selfies, all while appearing as cartoony avatars based on your recently tagged photos. For now, it's only available on the Oculus Rift VR headset and Oculus Touch controllers, but eventually it will expand to other tethered VR devices. Instagram for Android now works offline. You can consume content you previously uploaded and leave likes, comments, and more. Then it gets added when you reconnect to the internet. And for the developers in the room, Facebook is open sourcing the tool it internally uses to build its Android app. Litho allows for efficient creation of Android user interfaces that run at a smooth 60 frames per second. React, Facebook's popular open source JavaScript framework for building user interfaces, is getting a major rewrite. React Fiber, as the project is called, is designed to power the imagery-heavy user experiences of the future and will replace the existing React framework soon. Facebook also launched a VR version of React that lets developers build basic VR apps based on the same tools and skills React developers have already. Messenger bots. They are now discoverable and can be added to chat groups and conversations. Well, that's the short of it. With intelligent software leading the charge, Facebook is giving developers tools for a future where with haptic vocabulary, we may not need to speak. Language is no longer a barrier with instantaneous translations and our brains can type for us. But until then, let's all paint the real world and make some stylish selfies.